Hi, I'm Martin. This is Not Enough Tech, and uh, why? I'm Hi, I'm Martin, this is Not Enough Tech, and on the screen in here you see my clipboard manager, something I've done previously uh, that you could trigger with uh, your fingertip. Now with the Navbar and Smarter Navbar project, I'm incorporating this into the Smarter Navbar project itself. So you'll be able to trigger this with a uh, navbar icon uh, located in here. The navbar icon uh, lasts for about 15 seconds there and uh, you'll be able to access up to 10, even more if you pr uh, prefer, uh, clipboards. So that's part of the series. So this is the last standalone profile. In the next video I'm actually going to combine it all and show you how to link them together so each navbar would work with each other. If you want to look at the previous ones, I'll link a video in here for you so you could see what other navbar actions you can actually apply. Uh, but before we're going to jump into Tasker and show you how this works, uh, let's uh, take a look at the showcase, shall we? And also I've changed the trigger for my clipboard manager. So now when I want to copy something to my clipboard, I have access to my clipboard manager. When pressed, it will reveal the usual clipboard and this has 10 entries, but it has unlimited. You can close it out and once closed, the icon will disappear after 10 seconds, so no longer it's gonna bother you. So this is the tasker setup. It's not a very complicated, it's three profiles and a couple of tasks which we're going to go over. Now let's start with the trigger. The initial trigger is the changing value of the variable clip. It's the built-in variable in here and basically this is the main profile. When the variable changes I want to display my smart enough bar which is here. So to display it I use the obviously navigation bar to display the right task and I set two um, variables with time uh, value, so it's times in seconds and then 15 seconds later I've got a times with seconds as well. Those are set at the same time, so in my next profile uh, show clip nav navbar uh, it will uh, do a couple of things available to me for 15 seconds. First of all it's gonna run the show clipboard um, value. Now this it's not going to make a visible change but it will uh, shove your value, uh, your new uh, clip value into the array. Now the way I'm, I populate the overlay is I create an array and uh, this array in my case has 10 positions. Uh, each time you add a new uh, clipboard it goes on the top and the last is removed. So that's basically what it does. So uh, this gonna be run as soon as the um, clipboard uh, icon in the navbar appears. Now after 15 seconds because this is timed and the clip um, will reset so I have a new navbar and there will be no uh, nav, uh, navbar shortcut uh, for the clipboard anymore and I'll reset two timers. Uh, and lastly when I press on the clipboard I use auto apps command from that overlay I would start with the clipboard and it contains the number, number of I pressed I want to set a new clipboard so what I'm gonna uh, set is a new uh, value, uh, depending on what I've pressed. I'm gonna send that to my clipboard, and then add another 15 seconds so that button has would be available if there for 15 seconds. Obviously, you can modify it, but 15 seconds I found it to be enough for my case. Now, the actual task to uh, run the new um, clipboard is here, and what I do, this is actually not needed, that's a variable. Uh, all I have to do is change the icon available on the navbar so I could close the clipboard itself and then uh, I'll show the auto web screen tool which is a di uh, card list as a dialog displayed on one side with those parameters. Obviously that's all explained to you in the write-up itself. So that's pretty much everything that uh, goes into this uh, project and the more detailed information on how to create the array it is available on my um, fingerprint uh, clipboard mo uh, manager and you can read that in details. 
Right, if you require a further reading material, there is an article linked in the description of this video. So if you want to check something, learn something new, go ahead and check that. This tutorial is mainly based on the previous of my work. So this is a fingerprint uh, clipboard manager, the better clipboard manager. So if you want to understand how the arrays are created and why I'm doing this this way, uh, there is an entire write up on that with a different trigger. So I'm not going to, uh, you know, um, write it again for you, just click on that, read the irrelevant information and come back to that uh, write-up about the nav bar itself. As I mentioned before, uh, the last video is going to be combining all six different nav bar actions together to provide you with ultimate smart navbar experience so uh, i don't have a posting schedule for this because i'm leaving for work for a couple of days so if you follow me on social media or subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell you're gonna get notified as soon as this video is out as for now guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye